now available as paperback and e-reader from the author of Spinsterella, A Strange and Unusual Romance and Spellbound, The Darker Shade of Black Comes, The Legendary Bag of and you get the conclusion of the Spinsterella trilogy in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today. When I was writing The Legendary Mad Matilda, I watched thousands of hours of videos made by goth YouTubers, and I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to some of those goth YouTubers in this video. And the first goth YouTuber I want to thank is Rose Nocturnalia. Now, Rose Nocturnalia oftentimes wears a wig in her video with these teased out pigtails. And it's those teased out pigtails that gave me the inspiration for what Mad Matilda's hair would look like because whenever I saw Rose Nocturnalia's wig with the teased out pigtails and the barrettes in them, that's what inspired me to come up with the look of what Mad Matilda's hair would look like. Now, the second goth YouTuber I really want to give a big thanks to is Amy Necrotique. Now, Amy Necrotique is a DJ and she knows a lot about industrial goth events. And one of her videos, which was featuring goth events, was one that was a big help to me in writing the first 20 pages of the legendary Mad Matilda and the last 20 pages of the legendary Mad Matilda because it was her video talking about her experience hosting and promoting goth events that helped me gain some perspective on what the Matilda Crowley character's job would be as an event planner, an event promoter, and an event manager because there's a lot that goes into planning industrial goth events and goth events overall and watching her video gave me some insight into it and helped me to lay out the plot for those opening scenes and those closing scenes in the story and it also helped me to gain an understanding again of the whole business aspect of events and that are in clubs raves and music festivals and all the hard work that people put into these events because there's a lot of work that goes into planning an event making sure that people are where they're supposed to be that you have enough refreshments and amenities for people and that everything is made in a way that keeps the whole environment safe so that everyone has a good time and everyone enjoys themselves in a club event, an industrial event, a goth event, or a music festival. So her videos were a great big help to me in planning the opening scenes of the book and the closing scene of the book and the conclusion of the book. I could not have done, written the, those two parts without Amy Necrotique's videos. Now, the third goth YouTuber I really want to give a thanks to is Angela Benedict. And with the legendary Mad Matilda being set in the 1990s, Angela Benedict's videos really gave me some insight and perspective of life of a goth in the 1990s because she tells really great stories about life as a goth in the 1990s. And listening to many of her videos really, again, gave me that insight into life in the goth subculture in the 1990s. Moreover, one of her videos that really stuck to me when writing this book was talking about the importance of the music because in the legendary Mad Matilda the music is like a background character in many of the scenes and when I listened to the music um, over the last three years I began to understand why the music is so important because a lot of people these days they don't understand why this music is so important why the message of the music is important and how the music relates to things because when as I was listening to the music and as I was writing the story I began to see where different songs would fit into different scenes and different chapters and you could, and I could literally hear the music like playing in the background again and really adding something to the story and I wouldn't have really gotten that understanding if I hadn't spent three years listening to the music and then watching one of Angela Benedict's videos where she talked about why the music is so important because as I was writing the story I said to myself you know the music is very important and if you don't have the music you really don't have a foundation for anything because then you don't really understand 
what things really mean without the music. And I really studied a lot of different bands. I studied a lot of different music. I even studied a lot of our, of, of hip hop and R and B. And I found you know songs that featured dark aesthetics like um, TLC's Waterfalls and Michael Jackson's Scream. And that was all due to listening to Angela Benedict talk about you know her life in the goth subculture in the 90s. And another aspect that she really gave me some perspective on was as related to the fashion because with the legendary Mad Matilda I didn't really want to focus on you know really crazy and elaborate outfits when I, with this story and all the stories of the Spencerella trilogy I really wanted to focus on clothes that anybody could pick up from any store and create their own outfits because what really makes a great outfit is what you make to put it together and it makes you stand out. And one of the things she made a point that was really, I really thought was important was that you really shouldn't be thinking about a big designer outfit. You should be thinking about getting regular clothes and making an outfit that, that makes a statement about you because that's what I do in my own life. Whenever I go out and about, I always try to put together clothes that make a statement about me. And I usually just take regular basic pieces and I turn them into a stylish outfit. And that's something a lot of kids in the goth scene really need to start thinking about more than going out and buying designer clothes. They really need to think about, you know, just finding basic pieces at thrift stores and base pieces at regular stores and then putting them together to make an outfit that's unique and makes a statement about you because goth is about expressing the darker side of yourself and showing what's great about you. Now, another goth YouTuber that really helped me in writing this book is a YouTuber named Jessen King, and Jessen King is an African-American goth. She has a great channel, and she was doing a series of videos talking about how there were different things related to goth in R&B and hip-hop, and that was something I had touched on in Legendary Mad Matilda with some of the music in one of the scenes, and she made a series of great videos that she made talking about how there were goth imagery in various music videos like videos featuring Michael Jackson's Scream, several rap videos, and I began to look at several 90s videos and I also began to see it as well. I remember one Bobby Brown video, Feeling Inside, I really saw a lot of goth imagery in it and it really gave me some perspective of how goth is a major part of African American um, R&B and hip hop, but nobody wants to acknowledge it, but it's always been there. And her videos, where she talked about it, these are videos I believe everybody needs to take a look at because it shows us how African Americans were influenced by the goth subculture and how they took parts of the goth subculture and made it, you know, a part of their imagery in music videos and in films. Now. Another goth YouTuber I really want to say thank you to is Lygia Resurrected. Now, Lygia Resurrected, she made a series of videos talking about absinthe and different kinds of absinthe and the history of absinthe. And those videos were very helpful to me in writing the climax of The Legendary Mad Matilda because absinthe plays a major role in the climax of The Legendary Mad Matilda. And I could not have written those scenes without watching Lysgea Resurrected videos on absinthe and the various brands of absinthe and the history of absinthe. And I really wanted to make sure that I presented absinthe in a positive way and in a balanced way because after I watched them, um, some scenes where they talked about absinthe in a movie called Girls Trip, which was a black film, they really distorted the picture of what absinthe is all about. So I wanted to make sure with Legendary Mad Matilda, I showed people what this drink was about and how it affects people when they drink it because I did not want people to see it the way they did in Girls Trip where they were showing people hallucinating and being crazy. I was going to go with what people had talked about in their own videos like like Gia Resurrected would actually drink absinthe and people like Morella Reborn would talked about drinking absinthe and their experiences. and. There was another goth YouTuber I really want to say thank you to, and that was of Herbs and Alters. And I watched a lot of her videos, and she talked about her experiences in the clubs and the club scene. And those were videos that helped me 
shape some of the scenes in the early part of Legendary Man Matilda, just like Amy Necrotique's um, videos about goth events helped me shape them, because those were scenes that I wanted to see where I made sure that, you know, I showed you what happens at raves and I showed you what happened at clubs, and I really wanted to give people a picture of what really goes on at these kind of nights and show you a really balanced picture of things as related to them and I couldn't do that without a Verbs and Alters, some of her Herbs and Alters videos and she has a really great channel and you really should take a look at them and I really couldn't have done this book without the help of many goth YouTubers videos because the information I got from them helped me to really to build the details of this story and really make it rich and complex and unique and I really again could not have done it without the help of goth youtubers making all the videos and sharing information and sharing their stories and helping me to enrich this story you can pick up legendary mad matilda and the books of the spinsterella trilogy on amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box and again I thank all those goth youtubers for making all those great videos because without them making those great videos, I wouldn't have gotten the inspiration and ideas and the information I needed to write this book.